Hi viewer, I welcome you to Edin TV. It is the station where you watch and learn. I'll be taking you through geography form 4, lesson number 6. The topic is land reclamation and rehabilitation. I'm your tutor, Lucy Edin. Welcome. Our lesson goes, we are going to look at them when we look at the benefit of Pakera irrigation scheme. At number two, we look at the problems facing Pakera irrigation scheme. We start by looking at the benefit of the Pakera irrigation scheme. Uh, one of the benefits or one of the advantages, we have the scheme as made unproductive land to become productive land. Initially, this area where we have the Pakera irrigation scheme was uh, not, there was no product that was coming out from this place. Why? It is because of the floods. But the time when Pakera irrigation scheme was started, it couldn't use the excess water that was flooding uh, in the area, so it was able to check the flooding. So as a result, now you can see the unproductive part of the ramp is becoming productive. Number two, it has resulted in rising the standard of living of the people due to earning of the income to their farmers. How does this one come? When a farmer plant melons, plant cotton, when you plant uh, on it, and also the purples, tomatoes, maize, beans. They are selling them and yet they are getting income. So as a result, they can get what they don't produce. So in that case, it is raising the standard of rain. Number three, it has resulted to the settlement of land raised people. So these 350 hectares that have been um, developed since 1954, you get that people who are landless, they were resettled in this place. So now you see that people who are landless could get somewhere to stay. Uh, it has also resulted in the development of the infrastructure. We have the feeder roads, the feeder roads that are connecting to the Pakera irrigation scheme have developed. This is because um, the farmers need to take their product to the market. The purples are supposed to get to the market. Cotton is supposed to get to the DNA. We also have the, the purples. They need to get to the people who feed on them. So as a result, the, there is that development of the infrastructure. And number five, it has resulted to the development of the social amenities. Social amenities like the schools, hospitals. We also have the churches. We also have the mosque. We also have the recreation centers that have been developed that have been um, started in Barrico County just because of Pakera irrigation scheme. This is because the people who do work in this irrigation scheme, they require the hospitals, they require the schools. They also need the recreation centers. They also need the churches to join. So you get that there is that development. Number six, it has created employment opportunities. We have a number of people who are working in this place, doing their farming, harvesting, uh, the drivers who are employed to take their product to the market. They are also there, they are employed. So it has opened up employment opportunities to many. What are the problems? Yes, it has the benefit, but also there are the problems that are facing the Pakera irrigation scheme. Number one, we have inadequate supply of water, which has hindered the production of the perishable crops. 
due to the instability of the climate and also the high rate of the water being used by the farmers for the irrigation. It has reduced the water in Pakera, area, Pakera River. So as a result, that water is not adequate to to, to serve the 2,350 hectares that was gas in 1950. So that is a problem. Number two, we have an inadequate market of guns produced since the, sur the surrounding surround areas are sparsely populated. So if I take a look at the Barrico County, it is sparsely populated. So you happen to get that the melons, the fruit, and also even the, 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 the onions that are being produced in this place, they don't get a ready market within the surrounding. They need to get the other places. So now you get there is a problem for the production of perishable crops. And the third one, we have the poor transport communication, uh, uh, transport and communication network since the area is in a remote area. Baringo County, it is not a county that has developed. It is a remote county, a remote area. So as a result, you get that infrastructure, the communication networks are poorly developed. So there is also another problem, which are hindering the, the taking of the crop, crops to the market, even the, the, the getting of the fertilizer and even the getting of other services is becoming a problem. And the assignment for today, you're supposed to state four benefits of Pakera irrigation scheme. And number two, you state four problems facing Pakera irrigation scheme. Uh, for more information, you can visit the KRB 2003 Secondary Geography Student Book 4 that edition, or you can get us through the forum, uh, you can contact us through the SMS to the number, you can also get us through the YouTube, uh, you can also get us through the Facebook, you can also get us or Twitter us uh, through that. Otherwise, stay tuned to your little video. Thank you.